All right, got the work shirt ready. Got to bring some water, jacket, backpack ready. Hmm. All right, start getting the water cool for tonight. Everything's moving. Let's see here. Got the Buffalo Ranch. I told you guys, I can't let that stuff go to waste. That was like $6. Dr. Pepper for the movie. Oh, oh, oh I packed some peanut M&M's. <clears throat> And the rest of those are chips and beef jerky, so we're good there. Not too much actual food, though. Yeah, place is a mess, as always. Um, I really got to get better at that. But for now, it's going to have to go because I work in a bit, and I really want to go explore this uh, place by the mountain. And I have, I have an hour before I got to get to work. And I got the drone, and I really want to go check this place out, man. So enough yapping. Let's get out of here. I've been wanting to check this place out now for a couple months. I got like, I'll call it 15 minutes here. Um, I'm gonna try to get the drone up in the air too because there's a little river that I wanna take a look at. It's called Whitewater River that runs right through here. So like I keep saying this whole video, man, enough yapping. We gotta do some filming before I gotta get to work. I'm pretty excited though, man. My, uh, my new schedule starts soon for work and I could not be happier. That means a lot more recording and Going back to school is starting soon. I'm really excited. But yeah, it's Wednesday, man. It's almost New Year's, I gotta say. I know there's a lot of traffic, man, but thanks for everybody who's been coming out and subscribing to the channel. It's been a pretty cool end of the year gift for me because I just hit 17,000 subs and I'm at 17,500 something now. And that is exciting for me. Oh, what is this? I didn't even know this is gonna be here. We're gonna find Steve Wallace under here, guys. Oh, that's cool. Little drainage tunnel. That's real cool. See this year, one of my goals is to do some camping like this, and this would be a great little spot to do that. So I'm not gonna say that's gonna happen quite a lot, but hopefully. Huh? Too. Yeah, I always pass by this place and I'm always like, I wonder what's in here. So I just decided today is to take a look. Yeah, it used to be like an old gas station. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you go up top there, it used to be the uh, gas station upstairs. So. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. And I think this used to be like the uh, like mechanic shop down here or some shit. Yeah. Because, like, if you over here, there's like some, uh, some cement things that go down in the ground for like water or some shit. Yeah. So. Before it all got filled in, it used to be like a, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Deep. So, and I think there's a bathroom over there for you. Oh, uh... <laughs> check that out. Yeah, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. You live out here? Yeah, I live out here. You live out here? Yeah, and I got a YouTube channel as well. Oh, do you? Yeah. You want to show your channel out? Yeah. Yeah. Mingin Moto. It's all one word. M-I-N-I-O-N-M-O-T-O. Hey, there you go. So check them out. Yeah, if you go to my channel, I'll mm -hmm. subscribe to your channel. So. Yeah, okay. I yeah, definitely, I'll, I'll leave, leave a comment on it and I'll yeah. leave it up in the video I'm making. Right on. What do you do? Uh, dirt bikes, usually. So like these used to be like the old like water things, man, for the, the like, gas station. Yeah, it was like, I think for water or for gas, one of Yeah. Like, shit. There's this, uh, there's a bathroom for the mechanic shop right there. Mm. That's why all these tires are half the... Yeah. That's half the reason why some of these tires are... It's been a couple years since I've been out over here to come over here. Yeah. But you live in the valley though? Yeah, I'm going through. Oh yeah, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, it's an old bathroom here. I yeah, think yeah. that was the, uh, like an old sign or something. Do you ever you ever do like a little shooting over here? Yeah, I literally just left the uh, shooting range right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, right on there. Had a, uh, just picked up a new 12 gauge and I had to 
like two months ago, and I haven't had a chance to shoot it yet. Yeah. A little Christmas present or what? No, yeah, yeah for myself, you yeah, know. Yeah, for you? Yeah. Right on, dude. I mean, hell, yeah. gotta give myself something nice once in a while, shit. Yeah, have to. Because if you ain't giving yourself something nice once in a while, then... Yeah, man. Like... That's cool, I'm glad I stopped by. Yeah, right? So the, the, this whole thing would have been covered yeah. with the cement and the mechanic shop would have been right here, so this must have been for their hoist. That's you know, cool. the lift car, the, the... You see, somebody's got a whole setup in that tree right there. Oh, do they? You see? Yeah, they got a whole... Uh, oh, I came from up over there. Oh, yeah, they got a whole... Is it all fresh or what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I didn't look too close. Yeah. Good one, too. For sure. Wild. Yeah, that's why I kind of stayed away from this area because I didn't know if someone was like posted up in here. Or yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think they're here now, but it looks like oops, they might be back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is oh, it? Yeah, that's not fresh at all. No. That's been there for a minute. Yeah. Do you can feel like that dirt piled up on the. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's all old. That's been there for a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit trippy. Yeah, I bet. Well, Alright man, I'm gonna head out. Alright brother. Nice meeting you. What was your name? David, sir. David Ian, Four. man. You want to shout out your YouTube channel again? Uh, yeah, Minion Moto. M-I-N-I-O-N-M-O-T-O. All one word, lowercase. Nice. So, it's, you know, no big deal. Make sure you go subscribe to Ian here. Ian's Adventure on YouTube, yep. There you go. Alright man. Alright buddy. Take care be, buddy. Be safe. You too man. See you David. Please be in here. I think the drone is cursed today. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> I really don't think it's happening. Freaking worse. I lost my little drone controller. Well, I guess there won't be any drone footage today, guys. The other little joystick, they're supposed to go in here, right? I guess I must have slipped out and fell in my car. That's the best case scenario, man. I hope it didn't slip out and like fall on the ground or something. All right, guys, we got two problems in the car camper. And we got to talk about them. First off is this light system. Uh, it's got to leave. It's got to get out. And I don't know where the remote is. I lost it. I've tried to find it. I've tried to get knockoff versions, but you know what? It's just not worth the hassle. They were never that great anyway. So please, if anybody has any sort of ideas for a new light system for my car, something I can start looking into, I would like to hear your ideas because this one is, it's done, it's over. It's, it's, look at that, it's, it's over. It's gonna be time to get rid of it in the coming month or probably in the coming week. The next thing is uh, the drone little thing, the remote, I can't find that either. But luckily, I can order that. And the light system, it just gotta go. We're gonna have to find something else. But you know what? That's good because this is a new opportunity to get a new light system that is actually decent, right? That actually works well and is super bright, but also kind of stealthy and something I don't have to worry about all the time. And all right, I hear the beeping. Enough with the beeps. What's with these new cars and beeping? Guys, I'm, I'm kind of in a little bit of a bad mood. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just one of those days where I woke up just like a little like a burn it down you know <laughs> and I'm recovering from being sick so there's that you know but tonight's gonna be pretty fun it's pretty cool meeting that guy David but it's time to go clock in man we got to get ready for work
manual labor for the day. Let's get out of here. Lights out, bud. What's up guys? So I'm parked here at the trail to where I'm gonna go and uh, I just had an interesting conversation with a police officer. I thought I was recording, but then it turns out I wasn't recording. So I don't know, I'm the worst YouTuber of all time. That would have been such a great thumbnail and interaction. That probably would have been the first 100K right there. But hey man, you know, it happens. There will be, well, hopefully there won't be more encounters like that, but you know, we'll just see. And he was just telling me like, hey, what's up dude, how you doing? I was like, oh, pretty well. And he was like, well, man, just be careful. Um, climbing up there, you know, it is dark. And I was like, I got you, man. I'm just, I've been hiking here for a really long time. And then he was like, oh, well, we get a lot of stolen Kias. I'm like, nice, man. And he's like, definitely uh, this model too. And I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> Keep the mind at ease, you know? So I'm gonna try to hurry up a little bit and uh, not spend so long up at the mountain. So I got everything ready and uh, yeah, let's get out of here. I'm pretty hungry and it's hot dog time. There it is, guys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That kind of took it out of me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up right here. There we go. That is pretty bright. Well, I'm not quite sure what you can see, but up here. That should be okay. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, let's get to cooking. I don't even think I brought a plate. Oh my gosh, now that I'm up here, guess what I forgot? The pan and the water. I'm a defeated guy. I don't believe it. <sighs> I got so distracted by the police officer. And he was really nice. He was a great dude. But he was just asking me like what I was doing and everything. And I was like, all right, I'm just leaving. I'm getting on my, I forgot the stove and the stuff. This would have been so cool to make hot dogs up here with that in the background. Like look at how cool the shot would be. I would make it right here with all that. You know what, guys? There's always next week. I know what I'm doing next week. But tonight, I don't know what I'm doing. This is just one of those nights where everything's going wrong. Whoa, that got hot so fast. So I don't know where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. But that's okay. We'll figure that out. It's a, a big hot dog. I'm gonna have to smash it in there like that. Oh, that might be a cop. Time to go incognito. So I'll go ahead and get all my trash together. I can actually get these buns ready because we're just gonna quickly warm them up in the pan. And I should probably put a little oil in the pan too, huh? Oh, they're warming up pretty quick, actually. All right, let's leave those for a second. Oh. Guys, I gotta tell you, this place is turning into a disaster, man. This place used to be the safest place. I used to come here all the time when I was 19 years old. And I was just a kid, dude. I didn't know anything from anywhere. I was new. 
and there was none of this. But now there's like people walking around always saying like, hey bro, I'm, I'm ready to stab you, I'm ready to mess you up, and I'm like, this place has really fallen. Like Palm Springs has been getting so ghetto and it's so sad, man, watching the city you grew up with just turn into this like dump, for lack of a better word, you know? Alrighty, boys. Look at those things right there. Those are some freaking dogs. All right, 7-Eleven hot dogs going in. Mmm. That is a hot, hot dog right there. Holy crap. And the spicy bite, I've never tried before. And this Buffer Ranch, this is a good $6 I spent, man. This is off the chain. All right, I've never tried a 7-Eleven spicy bite. Let's give it a shot. I probably shouldn't say this, but as an employee of 7-Eleven, I can't eat their hot dogs because every time I eat a big bite, my stomach really gets upset. Man, it's really freaking good. 7-Eleven, dude, the food's all really bad for you, but the stuff tastes great. Not something I'm a real big fan of, I gotta be completely honest with you. I'm not a big, not a big fan of that smell, but I gotta find some place to sleep. And I was thinking, you know what, why don't I just go down to the casino, spend the night there, play a quick $10, and uh, just call it a night, man, because I don't know what this video is gonna be, but it was an epic fail. Just an epic fail, not the plan I had at all, but let's go see. I'm gonna go try to set up over there and uh, see what happens. Well, that was $20 I'll never see again. The casino is the, definitely the easiest way to go broke. I was literally here for like, maybe, maybe five minutes, and that might even be stretching it. What's going on, guys? So, sorry for the bad lighting, but I'm currently at a truck stop, um, and there's people right next to me, and right next to me on the side. So, I'm just gonna go ahead, hunker down, try to sleep here for the night, hopefully get a good time lapse. <clears throat> I'm sorry about today's video not being the best. Um, I really tried and I thought it was going to be interesting, me climbing a mountain, me trying to make hot dogs there. So basically this channel, I try to record once a week um, and I try to go on an adventure, hence the name Ian's Adventure. I don't have a lot of money right now. I'm working at 7-Eleven, which you saw. So it's really hard for me to like do traveling and, and things like that because I, I just don't have the budget. So I try to make things interesting even though I know I can't go to like the coolest places and things like that. So I feel like I failed today, but next week's video should be a lot better and we should make it to the top of that mountain and cook some hot dogs. But either way, it was fun for me. I enjoyed it. So hopefully somebody else enjoyed it. Thanks you guys for watching. We just hit the milestone of 17,500 subscribers which is really cool, that's really good news. Um, thank you everybody for subscribing. Uh, it's definitely been a lot of fun the past couple weeks getting a ton of new people to, to come out and watch the channel. So I wanna say thank you guys for that. And um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and shoot a little B-roll, take a photo, and uh, then get to bed because it's late now. It's about to be, I think it's three o'clock in the morning. But um, yeah guys, thank you everybody for watching. I'll end the video with this time lapse. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.